why would anybody believe in God under those extreme circumstances? Well, if our love of God and our belief in God is strong enough, we will go on believing no matter what. And you know, actually, we're not in that passage today, but in the 11th chapter of Hebrews, it wasn't written in order that we might know how to do miracles. The 11th chapter, all those heroes, it talks about two classes of saints, those who were delivered and those who weren't. But others, they were persecuted, they were sawn in two, they wandered about in sheepskins and in goatskins, being afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. What's so unique about them? They didn't see miracles of deliverance. They kept on believing God, and God loves to be believed. And uh, in the next segment, we're going to talk very specifically about the basis upon which they were able to maintain their faith. Yeah. But let us put ourselves in that situation. The whole world wants to back a winner. The whole world wants to live. All that you need is the mark of the beast, which is a sign of worship and his authority over you. And you can get all of those blessings 